hello everyone hope you are all doing good in this video i'm going to talk about athena so this is a new service launched by amazon this is one of the really good service for people who wanted to analyze large amount of data sets that should be like a really fast and without setting up any infrastructure so before i talk more about that i request if you have not subscribed please subscribe my channel it motivates me to upload new videos and please share this video to all your friends and anybody else who is interested and help me so let's uh, talk about the Athena service so as I said um, this is an interactive query as a service so if you know SQL it uses the standard SQL to analyze the large data sets and you just have to take your data and place it in your s3 so if you have if you place your data on your s3 bucket then you can define the schema in athena and then start querying using sql so the best part is it's serverless architecture so you don't have to have an infrastructure to analyze the large data sets let's take an example that if you want to uh, set up hadoop uh, with the help of hortonworks or cloudera you should really have a large amount of virtual machines and on top of that you, you really need to have co configuring the uh, environments right so it will take a lot of time for you to configure such uh, environments so what uh, you just wanted to analyze this data and you know quickly shut it down right you don't need to ha really have an hadoop environment for the activities which you just want to do it for a single time you don't want uh, a kind of a production environment so uh, think for an example that your servers are generating a lot of data your, your web server is generating a lot of data you don't want to set up in a hadoop cluster or anything like that you just want to take that data and uh, see some um, analysis on that and that's it it's done so this kind of task if you wanted to perform and this athena service is really going to help you on this matter so the best part is it's uh, serverless so you don't require any infrastructure on that you just point your data to s3 and the results are delivered in seconds so uh, you don't have to wait for a lot of time to deliver the results um, and you, you you don't have need to have um, the programming skills you know to write data um, analysis and all of that and and the best part is uh, you don't need to have a complex ETL jobs as we all know that we have tremendous amount of data stored in our um, whether it can be on RDBMS or Hadoop or MongoDB or any non-SQL no database so what we do is we have a amount of different data sources and we have to come up with our ETL job to blend those data source and then start analyzing it so you don't have to do that so you just uh, put any kind of data it can be structured unstructured or semi-structured data so anything you can just upload it to s3 and quickly analyze it so i'm going to show you a small demo um, by loading some data from the scratch and then analyzing it so uh, please subscribe this uh, channel and forward it to your friends also so let's get started So first thing what I'm going to do is I would show you the uh, the data set which I have. So I have this uh, lemonade uh, data which is comma separated. So what this has is on each day how many lemonade sold or orange sold. So such kind of data I have and where exactly it is sold or whether it's a park, beach so i have a very small data sets just to show you quickly how it works so i'll upload this data on s3 then i'll define that schema in athena and start querying that so let me start i'll typically go to the uh, s3 console i'll create my bucket so let me delete this and show you from the beginning Right. So 
so I selected my file I wouldn't need to configure any uh, permissions on this because I myself going to um, analyze this data set so I'll just skip to this part so well the, uh, the data is loaded now so you can just go to this uh, service console and you can select Athena so this is going to be your default screen when you launch the service so we will start by clicking on add table right so I'll give my database name I would say my Oops. And DB. let's say my table name is lemonade so this is the important part the location of input data set you just have to give your f3 then your bucket name so my bucket name would be my athena aws users since i don't have any sub directors so basically you don't have to give the exact uh, csv location just give the bucket or the subfolder name inside that folder uh, any amount of data any amount of files are available it is automatically going to scan um, for the athena query so what it does is basically it creates an external table so if you are aware of hive or uh, any uh, sql native engines which provided on top of hadoop so you have an option to create an external tables so your data is going to be stored on the external tables right so similarly this is also going to do the same i'll click on next so you're going to select your data format so these are the available formats uh, which is supported by athena so my data sets is csv so i selected that then the columns so you you need to define the columns uh, for your data set which you uploaded so let me open the data set Well, let me quickly define the columns you have an option to add the bulk as add columns so since I have very less columns let me add it in this way location this is going to be an integer orange temperature leaflets then the price integer double that's it i defined all my columns so partition if you have a really large amount of data set you can partition it um, by the category by the date range list so since i have a very small set i don't need to partition this click on create table as you can see that this is the entire query which includes uh, this is basically the schema right so create an external table my athena db dot lemonade these are the list of columns then the row format so apache hadoop hive so this is going to be looks like the same similar kind of hive schema how we define similarly like that then the location is s3 my athena aws the data is not encrypted so it's false so the query has been executed successfully what we'll do is uh, we'll try to execute the query and see if we can get some data out of it as i said it's a standard sql so we can use the nfs sql to query your data set so let me limit to 10 records yes uh, wonderful you can see that uh, the data set is loaded successfully so the first record right so the issue with this is 
I had my columns in my CSV file so what you can do is you can exclude the columns from the data set so you don't need to have the headers right on the data set so since that is being inserted over here the rest of the columns it's not inserted because the data type was integer and this was date so that's why it rejected that the location column was string so only you can see this part so now uh, finally you got your data you can start writing the queries um, AWS is charging somewhere around I think uh, five dollars uh, somewhere around five dollars I'm not sure about the price you can check to AWS uh, website for pricing details per TV they charge somewhere around five dollars now what uh, you want to use your business intelligence tool right so if you want to build visualizations out of this data right i will also show you this i'm showing this by tableau so i think most of you know tableau is a business intelligence tool to you know come up with your own data analysis advanced analytics out of it so by tableau 10.3 i think uh, they all give you athena as a native connector so you can also use uh, tableau to query your large amount of data sets since i don't have 10.3 so i'll not be able to show that so it's very simple so you just have to create an user id in um, aws uh, user access console so that user id will be used to query all this data set so you can set the permissions for that user id to only read the data sets and all of that right once you have that you will be able to query your data and build the visualizations out of it so i think uh, that's all about athena service so it's at a very high level i have done um, this video so if you have any queries please comment down in the below section and please subscribe to my channel and share this video to all of your friends so hope this is an informational video for you please like and subscribe thank you have a great day